Hi, Dave here, bringing you another great recipe that you can make at home. This week we're making pepperoni. I'm only going to grind this one time through the fine grind, but if you don't have a stuffer, because I'll run it once through the fine grind, then I'll just run it run through the stuffer into the casings. You, you can run it twice if you need, need to run it through that second grind on the smaller grind is where you have to use that to, to stuff your casings. We got our pork trim ready here. We're using pork shoulder or pork butt. You do need a dry cure chamber to make this sausage. This is going to be a five pound batch. We got our grind done. That was just one time through the fine plate. So we had a quarter cup of kosher salt. And Dan, briefly, are they going to go after fossil fuel? Two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. One teaspoon of ground fennel. Two tablespoons of paprika. Three teaspoons crushed anise. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Four tablespoons of dextrose. One teaspoon of Instacure number two. Half cup of dried milk. And we'll get that all mixed up. I have a correction on that recipe. That was a coarse ground black pepper that I used. Got that mixed up good, and the last thing you want to add is the starter culture. What we're using here is a Bactyl Firm FRM 52, and what that'll do is add tang to your sausage. You, you don't necessarily have to use it. it. I do like the flavor a little better, better if it's got the tang in it, though. So we add that, and we got to remix it all again. Make sure you get it soaked in real good, or mixed in real good. The starter culture that we use is kept in a freezer. Use a quarter teaspoon per five pounds, but you got to make sure to mix it in with tepid water. You don't use tap water, use a distilled water or a bottled water. Nothing with chlorine in it, always will affect it. So, what you got to do is put it, put it in, mix it in with water, and you got to set it out and let it set for 20 minutes before you mix it into your sausage. That kind of wakes it up from being in frozen state. We're using a fibrous casing, this is a protein line fibrous casing. We soaked them for about 15 minutes to get them softened up a little bit. You got to use a protein line casing when you're doing a, a dry cured item because otherwise your casings, if you just use regular fibrous casings like you would on a summer sausage, it's going to stick to it really bad and you're going to have a heck of a time getting it off when it comes time. Okay, we got all the uh, pepperoni run through the casings. Now we want to use a meat prick and Poke up and down both sides. That'll get rid of any air pockets that you have on the outside. And it'll help it dry a little bit more even. You want to make sure you when you're stuffing the sausage, you pack it tight. You don't want any air pockets in the middle there because that'll create bacteria. We have our sausage into the dry cure chamber here. We're going to set the humidity control at 70 and the refrigerator temperature at 60. I got the humidity tapped in from a humidifier down here. We'll keep our sausage in here. It generally takes anywhere from 16 to 21 days. It'll lose about 30% of its weight. This dry cure chamber is obviously homemade. The total cost on this was 300 bucks. If you go to buy one, they're anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000, at least the ones I've seen. So you can save quite a bit of money by making your own. And it's pretty simple to do. We got our pepperoni out of the dry cure chamber now. It was in there for 16 days. You can tell it gets it's firm and it loses about 30% of its weight when it's ready. Until next time, have a great day.